Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 23 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we've made it to the second last level of the game, the Dark Cloud. And unfortunately there's vultures here. Good. And yes, apparently I did have to kill them all. Okay, so this one is also side-scrolling, but it's not exclusively a side-scroller. It's side-scrolling for the first half, and then becomes top-down for the next half. Can't believe somebody actually put a monument over there on a cloud. When you actually get, like, inside these parts, the cloud is not as dark as you realize. The sky is dark, but the cloud itself... I mean, come on now. It's practically light blue. Maybe they should have called it the light blue cloud. Err... Uh, strike crack blocks forcefully from above, and they'll break. You can also use the momentum being shot from cannons to do the same. Everyone knows that. Except me. That's the first time I learned first thing I learned when I got here. Didn't help me much though, Urk. Urkel? Is that you? You were trying to sign your name and then you died midway through? That's bad. Whoever killed Urkel must pay with their lives. Whoops. Red one over here. Blue one can go for the bow. You know, Bowman Blue. Why not? That's crafty, if I say so myself. I'm not tooting my own horn, even though that is quite easy at this point. I'm just saying. Now that we got the bow, things should be a little bit better. Oh god, this part. If I remember, you're gonna need timing for this. You know what? Reliable Red, it's all you, man. You got this. Reliable Red, how could you? You missed! Yes. Wow! Talk about shitting the bed. Oh, there you are. That's why I had one do the job while the others stay on top so they can get to the Force Gems. Not something one would do in multiplayer, because then the one on the bottom will be doing all the work, and they get jack shit for it. I'm just saying, then you know, that option is there if you're single player. There we go, I felt that was needed. Oh no! My arrows don't work when they're facing me! There we go. Let's see what we're gonna find here. Switches? Wouldn't surprise me. If not switches, maybe force fairies. Like so. I claim a fairy's love by stabbing it in the wings. Bitches love being stabbed in the wings. Wait, something tells me I'm still gonna need the arrows. Yeah, I, I think I do. So let me go get them back. There's still one more target that I should have dealt with sooner. Oh, that's so cute. Lola's asleep right next to me. Yeah, I'm still recording this part, like, well after, like, maybe the uh, Tower of Winds. Like, I'm just doing, like, three levels, like, right close to each other on the same day. Recording this on the 11th, on a Thursday, just to make sure that I get a lot of stuff done in a time where I might not be able to do so. Okay, I think this is the part where I need the bombs. So that's the sad part. Sometimes if you do things out of order, you're gonna have to do some backtracking. It's usually how it is. That's why I'm still harping to this very day that I wish they would have let you carry more than one item and then you just press a button to cycle through them. If you had picked them up in that level. Like I said, in the next level, then you can just reset it to having no items at all until you pick up items in that level. That would have been a bit more convenient. I don't even know why I went that way. I mean, it's more convenient in multiplayer because you can have one Link have the bombs, the other one has the arrows, etc., etc. But this is not multiplayer. I'm forever alone here, you know? So 
Guess we gotta take our time here. Oh my god, they couldn't even take out the stack of rocks behind it. There we go, now we should be able to continue on. Oh god, this part. Yep, Shadow Link is gonna have the giant bombs. Thought as much, didn't ya? So it looks like we gotta find a way to get up there. Oh, that's one way. Taking a cannon. Let's see if there's another switch over here. There should be. Good, there is. Uh oh. This is risky. Huh, go, go, go! I did not know if I was safe in the cannon. I just had this feeling that maybe I would not be. So I took a chance. Wow! Avoid a giant bomb, get hit by a small one due to my own stupidity. 666, the number of the beast as said by Iron Maiden, which of course is not the real number of the beast at all. But in any case, that's neither here nor there. What is, however, is we're going to stay alive. Okay, I think we should wait. Hmm, why do I have a feeling there could be a heart container down there? You know what, I'm just going to ignore it. I'm probably just going to go straight on. Besides, we'll probably find some other stuff on the way. Pay me up, Scotty. And now we begin the second part of this level. That's actually top down. Oh god. Of all the enemies I could run into, you guys were actually the worst ones I could look forward to. Look at this! We're trying to push them back, and instead we got pushed back even further than when we started. Well, this is going to be a slow and steady process here. Just remember, you can actually use the pots to kill them, but because there's so many, chances are you're not going to kill one with pots. Just let momentum do the work. The greatness of physics! And these guys are not so great at all. They're a great hassle, that's what they are. Can I use bombs? Will this push him back? No, it actually kills them! Well, instead of just using that tactic, I should just use the bombs. Provided it actually gets there to him. Well, that cuts down the workload to a big extent. Uh, it doesn't look like throwing the bombs would be that effective, though. But we still got the win. Just discovered a new tactic, because I want to practice this. All I was was trying to push them into the pit. Never thought of using my bombs. Uh, looks like I know where I gotta go, all the way back there. Let's go. Okay. What was that? Enemies? Yep. That's a lot of them, too. No. You will not take my force gems. They are not yours! Even though I didn't battle the style forces, it was well worth it to avoid having most of my force gems sucked away by the whiz robes. Huh. Stupid you. Letting her back be exposed even though we're not even near each other. But it looks like my sword just goes over that, so that's probably not even a wall. Alright, let's take care of these moles. Maybe I should go down here first. And all we're gonna get to is a treasure chest, which has a heart container. Well worth it, in my opinion. 
Probably in yours as well. For some reason, these moles don't even move. Got another 100 Force Gems. Yep, this is the right way to go. You die now. Wait, 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 I saw something. Aha! What happens if I go this way? Burke! I thought I finally made it to paradise, but this place is no paradise. If you whack it, it will appear. A mountain of spikes. Uh-huh. But what happens if I actually went the other way? Because when I practice this, I didn't even go to the top part. I just went straight on. Like to the mountain of spikes part. Which of course does take you where you want to go. But I might as well just check out the optional path. Because why not? I might find something valuable. But I will need the hammer again. Mark my words. Just be careful with the wind. There we go. Perfect! That's one way to get across. There wasn't anything over there. Now the question is, is it worth going this way? Oh, I think it is. Now how are we gonna do this? Ah! I think we found a way! Oh no, no, no. Come back. Oh no! It's gone! Shit! We were so close. Oh! Vicky! Looks like we're gonna need ourselves another Moon Pearl. Wait, did I shag this for good? I think I must have. Oh, this is gonna be very complicated to get around then. Why do they make it like this? So I practically have to use the throwing technique. Is that part safe? Uh, is this safe? No, it's not. Okay, was this a bad idea to even go this way? I'm starting to think it was. Because those switches are very difficult to get to. Unless... I might have to throw more than one link. Here, you carry this. Uh oh, I, I don't like this at all. Here, you get in the back. I don't even know why I even bothered to take this kind of route. I just make things a hell of a lot more complicated than they need it to be. I'm just better off going the way with a hammer. One force gem. Okay, there's the big one. Here, you do it. guy has to do it. That's a bit unfair. <laughs> oh well. It was well worth it just to get all this stuff. Not to mention there's a treasure over here. I had a feeling some of those had big bombs. But I think this one is more important than one over there on the far right. I think I should just go over there where it's safe. Oh god. Get out of there! Good. 
That was just a beavis move on my part. Alright, we did get the blue bracelet, so that's really gonna help us out. Oh, there's a moon pearl. Oh, shit, that means we gotta go back to that area. I think there's actually two routes you can actually go through the stage. One with a slingshot and one with a hammer. I don't think they're gonna make you go all this way. Oh, you do have to take the other route then. That would just make the level way too long. I really should just check out the other chest because, I mean, why not? Finding a lot of force gems and I'm gonna find a lot of bombs as well. You got a crystal ball! It's filled with swirling mist. How unusual. Use the R button to throw it when you see an item you want. I don't think that was one of them. Oh, there was a heart container in here. Blow up, blow up. No, you don't blow up! You don't blow up! Not till we leave. Okay, now you can blow up. Even though we won't witness it. Okay, I think... Yep, that definitely works. So now we can go back to the area we were too, and then actually lay the moon pearl over there. Looks like you can actually do this level two ways. I think the one with the hammer is a little bit more convenient. This is probably just hard mode. But it might be a bit shorter. So yeah, you definitely can do this two ways, because either way, you're going to end up over here. That's actually a very cool feature. These guys are not so cool. Oh my god, a rogue arrow hit me. Yeah, you guys die now. Die quickly or die slowly. Take your pick. You bitches. Get ya! Oh, he turned around. There. Okay, I say we're very close to the end of this stage, too. We do have a boss battle, of course, but not a major boss, but one that's a recurring boss. Oh, we're gonna need a lamp for this. Or a fire rod. Or maybe we'll just actually need more than one item. Looks like we're gonna need the lamp first. And then we're gonna need arrows. So that means there isn't gonna be a fire rod in here. Which sucks, because I like the fire rod. Women love the rod. It's a very popular weapon. But the arrows are just as awesome. No, you cannot use a boomerang into a torch. Even though that would be pretty epic. Like, a fiery boomerang. Imagine if you had that. Um, someone tells me there's going to be some more switches on this side. There is. Okay. Oh, that just for even more force gems. Some of them actually fall down into the abyss. That sucks. So you're not going to get all the force gems because some of them actually fall. There's the dark mirror. This must be the source of all the shadow links. Alright, let's dance. And there we go. Now the mirror reacts and just creates even more. Luckily, these here Shadow Links, they all die in one hit. It still means you gotta wait a while to get a cutscene. Hey Zelda, like to help out? Link! The Shadow Links will regenerate if left alone. I must act. Wow, you're actually gonna make yourself quite useful. Looks like you're destroying the glyph around the mirror. 
Nope, she's just sealing it. Link! No! Defeat Shadow Link! Okay. At least now they'll stop regenerating. Okay, only one more. No, two more actually! They're actually standing right next to each other! They just blended in so well! There! Now we finish you! The mirror should return to the Temple of Darkness, I believe. Only she's gonna take it for herself. At last! The Dark Mirror has been retrieved! And she absorbs it in her forehead! Perfect. The Shadow Link! The one who wrought so much havoc upon Hyrule! No longer will his troubling shade darken our world! The one who stole this mirror and brought forth the Shadow Link! He who plunged Hyrule into darkness draws nearer! The heroes must be given passage to the final battle! A bridge! Wouldn't you just make us fly? Or just throw us? Oh look, a rainbow bridge. Where have I seen that before? Yeah, I don't need those force gems. What all I need is right here, the passageway to the final level of the game. I think it all comes down to this. So I won't get to 99 force fairies, but that's alright. 91's still a very high number. Pretty sure I have a very good chance of success. If I don't, there's something wrong with me. So this is it right here, the Palace of Winds, the final level of the game. In the next part, we're gonna go in. Goodbye, everyone.